today uh, it's quite historic actually. Um, we're going to start the process of scattering poppy seeds around Fenton, across all parts of Fenton, north, south, east, west. Fenton's always had a bit of an issue uh, in terms of like community spirit, getting everyone in Fenton feeling the same about something. Uh, so you could hold a meeting at the top end of Fenton, about the town hall, and there'd be half a dozen people. Hold it down here in Great Fenton, it would be packed. You know, hold a meeting top end of fence about pottery's demolition, it'd be packed, hold it down here, there'd be about six people, something like that. If we can have poppies all around Fenton, then everyone will feel the same about the poppy. It'll bring the community together. Now, this is the start of that process. So we're gonna scatter the poppies across some symbolic sort of uh, areas, some highly visible areas. And um, hopefully over the next six months, year or so, uh, we'll, we'll cover the other areas so that everyone can see can see some poppies in their neighbourhood. That's the case in Fenton. The idea about this is if we can have poppies right the way across Fenton, everywhere, then everyone feels the same thing about you know something at least. So it's a way of generating more community spirit and that's the idea. And today, obviously we're not going to do the whole event, but you know, we're going to do some highly visible areas. So it's going to be like a symbolic sort of event, that's the idea. So uh, I've got some printouts of the areas we're going to do. The idea is to sort of start in the square, but what we want to do today is cover the whole of Fenton. So we're going to do here, there's a patch on Greenbdale Road, a patch where the Dunce's Cap is on City Road, which is where I'd rip it out with my bare hands if I could. <laughs> Hi, I meet with Sue Law Webb. Hi, Sue. Hello. Yeah. Have you just been in to see the uh, memorial to the Great War I have, for, for yes. a Phantom Man who died? Yeah. Uh, what did you think about it in there? I thought it was magnificent. A huge work of art, but I didn't realise it was so big. Now it's it's made out of mint and tiles, yes. and it's embedded into the wall. Yes. And obviously we've got an issue here with the uh, the, the town hall uh, being up for sale mm -hmm. and. It's unlisted, of course. Yes. Uh, what are your fears there and concerns about that? Well, um, the, the, it belongs to the people of Fenton. It has all the names of the people that died in the First World War, and it should stay belonging to the people of Fenton. And I'm very, very worried about the fact that we might be losing it. What do you think the Ministry of Justice's role should be in all this? After all, they, they sort of own the building, don't they? Well, I think they should give it back to the people of Fenton. Uh, as I understand it, um, they were given it, more or less, in, uh, to um, have as long as it performed its duties as a court of law. Well, it's not doing that anymore, so we should have it back. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sue. Thank you. I believe that it is actually part of the centre. And if the centre is listed, that must also be listed to uh, damage in any way. It's desecrating the war grave. It's desecrating the memory of those 500 men who died in the Thistle of War. Yeah. Um, and 
although it doesn't say it, although the separate memorials for the Second War, Northern Ireland, uh, Korea, yeah. that is still a part of the tribute to those men. Yeah. And it should be very, very, very good. And it shouldn't, if you can't move it, then it should stay where it is with free access to anybody, any time of the day, all night, 365 days a year. Uh, speaking of the memorial itself, it's an absolutely fabulous uh, piece of work, and it's one you would never ever be able to replace. Yeah. And but the meaning behind it is so much more important. That's it an is. important thing that you said, isn't it? That yeah. uh, the memorial in the town hall is linked to this, isn't it? It is linked to. So what what happens to the square if the town hall and the memorial inside get? get demolished. What, what happens to the square? Well, this is still great to mean, but it's, it's lost for meaning because why the names those people? Where's the tribute for? That tribute has got to be saved because those men, no question, a lot of, you know, a big majority of them volunteer to go, knowing what the conditions are like out there, knowing that they probably would never ever come back. Okay, I'm, I'm here with Derek Simpson. Uh, Derek, you've been in to look at the uh, memorial inside yeah. the town hall. What, did, what were your impressions of it? I think it's fantastic. So, uh, any, you know, getting rid of it in any way was just sacrilege.